Hello students, welcome back. I am Professor Prithi Shibute, brought in another exciting topic related to basic electrical and electronics engineering. We are discussing about a concept of unit number 3 that is alternating current machineries. But before proceeding to that, we are uh, refining our concept of AC alternating current. We already had a discussion about uh, what is amplitude, what is frequency, what is phase. But based on the concept of phase, we are going to discuss about a topic known as a single phase supply and polyphase supply now. Please make sure you have understood the concept of phase thoroughly. If you have not understood it, go back to the video of a, uh, alternating current introduction and understand those three concepts clearly. That is amplitude, frequency and phase and come back to this particular session to understand the concept of single phase and polyphase supply. Now see, uh, as such in our domestic applications, whatever we came across is a simple single phase supply. In, in our home or domestic appliances, you might have seen a socket with something like this, right? So in that case, there are three terminals. This is an earthing which is used to protect our human being as well as device from an uh, electric shock hazard. So this is not a power this a part of power supply, it is just a protection mechanism. But these two terminals are important. This terminal over here is known as a phase, whereas this terminal is known as a neutral. So whenever we connect any device, for example, if I connect a bulb over here, so that bulb is connected for between phase and neutral. So current always go from phase towards neutral. Try to understand as name indicate neutral. Neutral do not have any charges associated with it. Whereas in case of phase, there will be an alternating current flowing like this. Means it might be a positive cycle, it might be a negative cycle. So that current always goes from phase in our bulb, then bulb will glow and then from a, through a bulb it will go to the neutral. Try to understand circuit should get completed, then and then bulb will glow, else bulb will not glow, right? So in simple domestic application, we have a simple two wire supply and those two wires are known as a phase and neutral wire. We already had a discussion related to why it is 230 volt or 50 volt. Please see that particular video to understand the difference between Indian and USA standard of electrical voltages. Now, but uh, there are some problems related to single phase power supply. That is nothing but our typical domestic power supply. That is nothing but power handling capability. Power handling capability of that single phase power supply is comparatively limited. See, we already studied about the concept of power. P is equal to V into I. Being more specific related to alternating supply, it is nothing but P is equal to V into I into cos phi. Whereas cos phi, in that phi is nothing but phase difference between voltage and current, these two entities. Phase difference between those two entities. So this is nothing but a whole formula for a power. But try to understand to in enhance or to increase the power delivered by a network, either we need to increase the voltage or we need to increase the current or we need to manage this particular uh, phase difference to 1. That is nothing but we need to maintain this phi is equal to 0 because cos 0 is always equal to 1. That we call it as a unity power factor. That we call it as a unity power factor. So ideally power factor should be unity that is 1. But here comes a problem. To enhance the power either we need to increase the voltage or we need to increase the current. You can do that but up to one particular point only. After that particular point the devices will not be able to handle the such, such a said current or uh, voltage because our physical devices had some limitation to handle about handling capacity of a voltage and current. In fact, we need to increase the size of a wires in such a great size that it will not be flexible and it will be very much like a pipe that we are using in case of a water delivery. So that is significantly not acceptable reason and that's why to have a more power, the only possible solution is to go for a poly polyphase supply. What is polyphase supply? As they indicate poly, poly means more than one phase, means a supply in which more than one phases are there. For example, in this figure you can see that this is a single phase supply but it had a limited power carrying capability. That's why we have designed a supply in such a way that there are one, two, three. Can you see that? Black color is one phase, red color is another phase and blue color is another phase. Here black color is known as completely in phase supply because it always start from zero and go to uh, 360 degree whereas uh, this red color supply is falling behind and this uh, we can say uh, uh, blue supply is going ahead so that's why we can call it as a leading power supply and we can call it as a lagging power supply and this is in phase this is known as a in phase power supply so these are the three different phase so here you can see that rather than having a one waveform like this here we have more than one waveform rather we have three waveforms over here so here power is three times better than that of the first case if here power is three times better being more specific it is not exactly three times better it is square root of three under root of three times better 
so that is nothing but 1.732 time higher power than that of equivalent single phase power supply see does it mean in case of polyphase power supply we need to have or always need to have three phase only no we can have more than one phase but that poly word indicate that it can have more than one but it cannot be an even number even number is not permitted why very simple to understand see this is an one supply and if I uh, uh, need to have another supply then always remember that phasor diagram the another power supply or all those uh, we can say supplies or waveforms should be equally spaced in a phasor diagram for example if one power supply is at a zero degree then exactly at the opposite side it will be at a 180 degree means it will be something like this but you can see that here the positive supply cycle of first power supply is cancelling out because of the negative power or cycle of the another power supply and so on so in case if we have a number of phases equal to even number of phases then one supply cancel out another phase so this is of no use at all that's why it cannot be even in case of polyphase supply poly indicate it is always odd number so it can be 3 it can be 5 it can be say 1 but try to understand as we go on increasing number of phases the power handling capacity will increase for example if i go from root 2 or root 3 to root 5 times more power we will get if we go for a 5 phase supply but try to understand the total phase because one such a complete diagram is of a 360 degree so if i have three phases so 360 divided by 3 equal to 120 so all these power supplies should be arranged up at 120 phase difference because there are three now imagine if i have a 5 such a uh, 5 such a phases then it will be 360 divided by 5 so that might be uh, 5 5 10, 10 then 15 then 20 then 25 then 30 35 i think it will be somewhere around uh, say one point something right so uh, you can calculate and perform that particular cal cal calculation so you can understand this what i wanted to say so, so it will be somewhere around 75 degree phase difference between two phases right but total should come as at an 360 degree now what i wanted to tell you over here is that if we have a more than one phase then we can we will have an capacity to deliver a higher power that's why in applications like industrial application where we require huge amount of power we should go for a three phase or five phase supply but try to understand three phase is uh, already sufficient enough to handle entire applications in a world so there are very few application based on five phase or more than three phases almost nil you can consider and beyond seven phases it is almost nil there is no circuit working on more than seven phase power supply there are few cranes in a world working on a five phase power supply and seven phase power supply but no one is working for a phases more than that right so that's why three phase is very common and that's why polyphase whenever we talk we always or almost always talk about a three phase power supply which looks something like this so now another important concept uh, another advantage that we achieved over here is a reduced size the size of this particular wire required to carry that particular supply will be reduced significantly because why it is reduced significantly because uh, the power is not carried in a lines but rather power is carried in a multiple line so what are those lines? you can see that we require total four line what are those four line one is a neutral line like in previous case but here there are three phase line one is known as r one is known as a y one is known as b why this r y b because it is nothing but three different color red yellow blue red yellow blue so that's why this is nothing but r y b power supply red yellow blue so this that's why in case of three phase power supply we require four lines like this neutral red yellow blue so four lines are required to carry a three phase power supply i hope you understood the concept of a single phase supply and polyphase supply the main advantage that we got in case of polyphase supply is more power and reduced the size of a wires whereas it is very much costly than that of a single phase supply that's why in all domestic application we have a single phase supply and in case of industrial application or almost all industrial application we have three phase power supply i hope you understood it and you enjoyed this session thank you for bearing it with us and we will bring such a interesting session in future also till then please stay connected thank you